In this tutorial, we're going to see how to model the hot birder cattle from uh, Philip Stark, uh, showing you a modeling approach to this design. In order to do so, I start with a picture and drag that in. Now, before doing any modeling work, I want to make sure that this uh, image is more or less the correct size. So I've displayed the uh, exact size of the design here. So I'm going to scale this image to these dimensions. So the 31.7 is the width of this point to that point. So if I'm drawing a couple of lines here, Let's say this is more or less the middle. There's a little bit of perspective here. Something like that. And then if I draw a horizontal line to this one perpendicular, and this distance should be that 31.7. So if I now take everything and scale, clicking on this reference point and that reference point, you see currently it's to 14 point something. So I click on that point, and now I can define the width and type in 317, enter. So if we now to take a look at this length here, And you will find 317. We can also check uh, the other dimension, the height of the kettle. So from here to down should be 254. Uh, and since we are looking at the kettle in a bit of a perspective, uh, we cannot be really accurate, but I think it's fairly well like this. So let's move everything from this point here to zero. Okay, now I can delete my reference lines and uh, make a new layer for the curves and lock this image, calling it image. Uh, so now I can no longer select or move it, which is uh, convenient. Now for the shape of this kettle, I'm using a control point curve here, starting at the very tip here. And just taking as few points as possible to define the shape. Uh, and we can always uh, turn on control points with F10 or alternatively this tool here and manipulate those points. So selecting a point and using control and, and the arrow keys on Windows or the command, uh, sorry, option key and arrow keys to move points in order to fine tune that curve. So this particular shape here is like a tilted revolved shape. We want to find its neutral axis for revolving. So I'm taking that curve and using mirror from this end and then just eyeball when I have the correct position. I can even eventually zoom in a bit and this seems to be very quite accurate. Okay, so 
there's a couple of ways to now uh, draw the uh, central line here. I think the easiest is to make the line from both ends. And then using a new line from midpoint to this end. Okay, now I can delete these two reference curves and start revolving around the central axis. Starting angle is zero and I just choose full circle. Now turning to shaded mode here will reveal that uh, bullet shape. Let's keep in wireframe for now and start focusing on that uh, handle. For this I follow more or less the same uh, procedure. So taking a line extending a little bit beyond that shape. Like that. And do the same at the other side. Now, in order to find the neutral line here, I will follow a different method and use a command called tween curves. With tween curves, you can make a multiple uh, uh, transitions between those two curves. You see uh, three of those, but I only need one, of course, for the uh, central line. So one, and enter for confirming. So again, I can delete one of the um, reference curves and revolve this around this axis. Again, starting angle zero, full circle. Now next we need to do, since I placed this at uh, the zero point, I can draw a line from zero using shift, holding shift and picking a point, then select that line and trim this part away of the surface. You can see it already starts to have the final shape we have in mind. Then for uh, this part of the handle and the front part, I can use a similar technique. So drawing a line here and moving that into place and trim this surface. For the front, um, it looks to be a little bit rounded here, but in fact, um, it is due to the perspective angle. So if you look at here, if you look at this angle to the uh, spout, you see that it will be a little bit rounded. Okay, but uh, it is a straight section. Now for the front part, uh, I believe that uh, the cut is uh, perpendicular to the flow line of the spout. So I will use not a line to trim this, but use split and do that by isocurve. Isocurves are uh, lines that are in the direction of flow of the surface. And this is the V direction. I can also toggle to U direction. So now I can trim along that U direction. And then delete the part I don't need. Now if you uh, look closely at the shape, you will see that 
spout is in fact uh, looking to be pasted on the shape. Same for the handle. So we'll do that next. I think for now we can uh, hide that picture. We can also select our curves and move those to another layer. Close curves and hide them. We can close off this shape with cap. We can do the same here for this spout. Closing this end and that end. And let's uh, make a little bit of a, a shelled shape for this handle with shell. I assume a thickness of 2.5 millimeters. Like that. If you look in the uh, image, you will find that uh, the edge of the uh, spout is a little bit rounded. Um, but we'll address that a little bit later. So first I will trim this uh, spout where it is intersecting with the body. I use Boolean difference for this. So selecting the handle and subtracting without deleting the input, the body. So I deleted the body, that's not what I want. So again, Boolean difference without deleting input will remain the body but also delete the inner part of the handle, as you can see. Now, of course, we can uh, add some rounds to these edges, um, but for uh, modeling something like this and doing that in concept phase, you don't really need physical rounds. You can also do this by uh, adding rounds through the object properties. And here you will find that. Edge softening, turn it on and add a radius of, uh, let's try one here. And here you see that what the effect is. Get a rounded effect, maybe it's a little bit too much. Right, so for the uh, bottom of the body, you see there is a rounding here, and that round uh, seems to be a couple of millimeters in radius. So let's try that uh, first with fillet edge. And you see I get a fairly parallel fillet and that is because my fillet edge option was set to um, uh, rail type distance from edge. Uh, by default it is set to rolling ball and then you get a visually different appearance because uh, the angle with the surfaces is bigger at this end than at this end. So the radius seems to be larger at this end than at this end, while it is in fact a constant radius. Uh, but um, for a more visually pleasing result, 
in cases like this, I prefer the fillet edge with as option and distance from edge, which gives a more equal spaced rounding. And that concludes the modeling part of uh, this hot Berta cattle. We can of course uh, add some materials to make it look more like the image. So turn this back to rendered view and then add metal for the body. So using metal here and then change the um, polish a bit to make it more matte can also um, change the color to uh, more silver tone and then for the handle choose a custom material with a greenish color like that turn the gloss up and reflectivity now this makes it uh, look metal but we have to change the IOR to 1.5 and also the um, turn on Fresnel reflectivity um, that makes it look more like plastic and then we can reduce the polish to make it more of a matte appearance And that's it.